Hi guys, um, it's Jack. I got back from the circuit meeting day, um, actually a couple of hours ago, but I needed to wind down. Um, before anyone wonders what this is, I tried to do my makeup in the Hogwarts house colors, but it's really faded by now. Um, so I doubt you can even tell, like this really looks orange to me right now, but it, it, it was red before, I swear. Um, it was really cool. Um, I, I made drawings, um, for as many of the people uh, that were there as possible. Um, but what ended up happening is, um, I didn't have time for everyone, and that was, that was, that was lame. Um, but, um, they were so happy that I was there, and of course, and, um, everyone really liked their pictures, like, um, this is Lauren, and, um, here's Joey, and here's AJ's, but he wasn't there at mine, he was there at some earlier ones, because, so, but he was busy, and it was really sad, so, um, AJ, if you're watching this, happy birthday, and this says, Joey Richter is so cool, he has wizard god for a heart. And I know it's not a quote of something you said in me and my dick or in anything else, um, but I was kind of hoping it would reflect how awesome you are, um, even if it's saying Joey Richter is pretty cool. <laughs> um, here's Brian Holden. Um, Oh, gosh, I can't even remember. Yeah, this is Nick. I, I can't remember which Lane brother is which ever. I need to watch more Little White Lie and all of that. And I'm sorry, but I, it's hard for me to remember which one is insane and which one is not. And, um, Jamie wasn't there, but I drew her one anyway. So, next time, like, if she's at Starship. Um, then I'll be able to get her to sign in. And here's Joe's, and I didn't do Voldemort. I'm not as good at drawing guys as I am at girls, but this always makes this one with, you are a chubby little dog, always makes me cry a little on the inside. So, um, and then, um, here's Devin. Um, I didn't get to color it all the way because I think I was rushing on time. Um, to, cause we were going inside or something. Um, this is my sister, this is Zeray's page. Um, and then, here's Brian Rosenthal. And, um, I was rushing so I messed up on his hat. And then, of course, here's Tyler. Um, I didn't do a Cedric fine one, but, like, he really liked it anyways. And, um, I think Lucius is sort of funnier than Cedric, maybe because he is sort of throughout the whole play, so he gets more lines and is hysterical. And, um, here's Richard Campbell, but I didn't get him to sign anything, he disappeared. Uh, it was sad, I really wanted to, like, get him to sign it too, especially because, um, Sango and, um, <laughs> Songo and uh, Lily and Julia and Nick, um, with the long last name. I can't, I can't remember it. It's, I know there's like Stoss or something in it. Um, those guys didn't get drawing because I didn't have time. Um, so basically what happened in, um, the movie, they had a presentation, but, um, after the, the PowerPoint was broken during mine because we had, I had the last slot. And, um, but we got to see some sketch drawings, some, a very, of the Harry Potter sequel and the concepts for that and how it started out, which was apparently very different and more like summer school. And there was supposed to be Zach Efron in it and stuff. And then it changed 
again to the where it was going to be like Back to the Future and about like ruining Snape's life to make it so that um, the world could be saved. And then that got thrown out. So then we have a very lot of sequel. Um, and then they also talked about Starship. It is an original play, and it's sort of like a bug's life in space. If that makes any sense. It's, it's like, it's Flick. I think his name is Flick. It might be Flick. It's been years since I've seen that. It's Flick wanted to be an astronaut instead of an, an, an adventure. Sort of. That, that's the best way to explain it. I'm, I kind of don't want to be descriptive because they told us not to record anything. And um, so I'm hoping they recorded it or something. But they told us not to record anything, so I'm not sure how much I uh, they would be comfortable with me telling you guys. Um, I know it sounds stupid, but um, I really want to respect them on that. And... Um, for those of you who have been wondering, yes, it's all going to be in Chicago now. Um, they're even moving all of the props to Chicago. And by the way, they did say that if there was a, a very Potter prequel or tri trilogy, trilogy doesn't rhyme. <laughs> so if there was going to be a third one, it would be in Ann Arbor and not Chicago. Um, so that, that's sort of cool. And they did have a bunch of props. Where they have, they had all the props actually for us to play with. Um, even they, even Golem. Um, and I got to hold the Marauder's map and, um, I didn't wear the sorting hat because it, there's this big, um, foam thing in the middle to make it a puppet. So instead I held it and I held Starfy and they were talking and I was like, awesome face. Um, Everyone was really cool. Everyone was really nice. And uh, they were just like, oh yeah, I'll sign this for your friend and whatever. And um, one of my friends gave me a letter to give to Joey Richter. And I gave it to him. And I was like, oh yeah, wait here. Um, my friend gave me a letter to give to you. And his words, his words were almost exactly, oh wow. Um, <laughs> so... He was signing the picture that I drew of him as Ron while I went to go get it. Um, and I no longer have a Slytherin scarf, which is kind of okay because I'm a Ravenclaw, because I gave it to Lauren. And she was, well, she seemed pretty touched by it. It was, I, I was kind of debating, I was just like, do I want to give this to Lauren or do I want to keep it because this is the first scarf ever? And then I, then someone said, you can make another scarf. And I said, you're right. I'll totally give this to Lauren. Because Lauren is kind of my favorite because, and I, as much as everyone loves Lauren as a character and as an actress because she's, she's so funny and all this other stuff, um, I don't think she and the other girls have started to get enough love as, as fan-wise. And so, even though, like, the Star Kid writers are pretty much all guys, I kind of want them to do, have, like, female main characters, like, more particularly in, maybe after Starship, um, just, just because, um, I know we're, a bunch of girls mostly as Star Kid fans. But um I think um a lot of the girls because Star Kid I think I don't know, Star Kid is mostly fifty fifty, but I think they just deserve more love. And I would love to see more Bonnie and more Lauren. So um so I hope you guys like the little interviews that I did of the fans and I'm going to come up. So bye.